super weird filming this video but we're gonna do it saturday july 13th i don't even know if it's coming up okay hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel my name is sophia if you are new here obviously by the title you guys already know what kind of video this is gonna be and obviously by my background this is not my beauty room um the reason why i didn't want to film this video in my beauty room was i just kind of felt like with all the cameras well not cameras but with my big camera and my lighting um and my backdrop i just kind of felt like it wasn't 100 percent raw and real and i really want this video to be that because um, I feel like I'm gonna start crying. That's why I wore makeup. I didn't want to cry in this video, but I'm already like getting cheery eyed. Um, shit. All right, um, obviously, by the title, you guys clearly know what this video is. Um, so yeah, if you're new, hi, I'm Sophia. Please subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me your thoughts and comments down below. Without further ado, let's go. My dog is here, by the way. He's my little emotional support. So if you've been following me for quite some time now, you would know I have been on a health journey for the past 365 days. Today is my one year anniversary of starting my health, fitness, and lifestyle change. I started last July um, with the intention to just lose weight. Um, I was really looking to lose like 10, 20 pounds maybe. Nothing really much more than that because for me personally, I never felt like I was fat or obese. I just felt like I had a little bit extra weight and it didn't bother me that much. Um, I mean, obviously it bothered me, but it didn't bother me like a ton. Like I never like thought about it that much. It was just something that I lived with pretty much my whole life. I've always been a little bit more on the chunkier side, you could say. I was never like the really skinny, pretty popular growing up. I was always kind of like her fat friend, if that makes any sense. Um, even growing up like through grade school and high school, all those schools I was always made fun of for that so I mean I guess you could say it was something that's kind of followed me around my entire life and I just carried it into my adulthood I will leave my first few baby <laughs> my first few videos I did on keto down link below because I do not want to get too in depth about that because I already have two videos where I answer Q and A's. I go over why I started, what made me start keto, all that stuff. So I'm gonna link them down below because if I like start from why I started keto and where I started and then I go to here, this video is gonna be hours and hours long because I could talk about this for a very long time. But this video, I just wanted to be me reflecting on how my life has changed the past year and um, if this is something that I'm going to make a lifestyle, um, because I'm still getting so sorry. And I'm really, I'm really sorry if this video is kind of like, pew, 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 pew. obviously I'm feeling a ton of emotions right now, given that it's been a year. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why I'm just discombobulated right now because it's just crazy to me that it's been a year, but, um, I'll link those keto videos down below for you guys most of you know i am not on keto anymore i haven't been on keto for about three or four months now which is really crazy because i mean i still kind of live a keto life but i just incorporate healthy carbs in my diet i do incorporate like healthy fats and carbs in my diet i will also link down below a what i eat in a day video because i did post that uh, about a month and a half ago i want to say and i'm pretty sure there's like some healthy carbs in it but just for instance like i do eat sweet potato now um i will eat what else do i eat that's like a carb oh gluten-free breads that kind of stuff um i am gluten-free 
I would say I'm probably 90% sugar free. Um, I mean, if I want a hot tamale or a milk dud, I'm gonna have it. I, I'm not holding myself back by any means anymore. Um, and that's because I found a really healthy lifestyle and balance that works for me. Um, or if I want a piece of cake or a cookie, I'm gonna eat the damn thing. Like, that's just who I am. It's what I've always liked and enjoyed. And it's something that I feel like is part of kind of everybody like I saw someone posted a like quote about like those five to ten extra pounds that you're holding on those are your late night snacks that's your piece of cake that's your cupcake that's the one thing that, like you can't let go and it's true it's really hard to um, cut those out and that's why it's so hard to lose the last five to ten extra pounds um, but not going too in-depth with that like I said I really want this video to be mainly about my year and um, how I feel right now like I told you guys, I haven't been doing keto for about three to four months and I am gluten free, 90% sugar free. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty great. Um, a lot of you have asked me if I have gained weight since being off keto. The answer is no, I have not gained any weight at all. Not a single pound. Um, if anything, I feel like I'm kind of just stabilizing that weight that I was at, which was 152 pounds. However, when I first started keto for the first like um, eight months, seven months or so, I never worked out. I didn't go into the gym. I just lost the weight pretty quickly. Um, and I think that goes back to like the intermittent fasting, all that stuff, which once again, I'll leave a link down below because I could talk on that subject for a very long time, but I will leave those I will leave those two videos linked down for you guys below if you're interested in seeing that. But um, yeah, I haven't gained any weight. I have started working out a lot. I work out Monday through Thursday or Tuesday through Friday, just kind of depending on um, if I feel like waking up on a Monday morning to head to the gym. So yeah, that's kind of like my workout schedule. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you see snippets of my workouts every single day that I go to the gym. I post quite frequently on Instagram stories about my workouts and that kind of stuff. So if you're more interested into like that fitness part, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My name's just Sophia Store XO. Now getting into the reflection of the past year, like I told you guys earlier, um, it never really bothered me a ton because like I said, I was always like the fat friend growing up. So it was something that I just kind of learned to live with my entire life until last year. And at this point, I would honestly be lying if I told you guys that social media and comments and hateful comments and, you know, um, just rude people in general, I'd be lying if I said that that didn't get to me because it definitely did. Um, you know, when you put yourself out there on social media and you post photos and videos of yourself obviously you are opening up a can of worms where you're going to be literally criticized for every single thing you do every single thing you say what you look like what you wear how you did your makeup that day what your hair looks like all that kind of stuff what car you drive all those things so i would be lying if i say if i said that the fat comments the overweight comments didn't get to me because obviously i mean they did um, but it wasn't just that why I wanted to start my health journey a year ago. I was also having some health problems and that was something else that like I really had to like sit down and di digest and you know think about. Um, so that was really hard too but it was just a combination of those things and um, also just you know not feeling great about myself or like my body image or what I look like. and. As much as people want to say it's not about what's on the outside, it's about what's on the inside, I 100% agree with that, but we're all human. Of course, all of us are going to want to look pretty and feel pretty on the outside as well as the inside. Um, and I think that's just something that really got to me and, you know, what really made me want to, like, jumpstart my health and fitness journey. Also, I kept thinking about, you know, I'm only going to be 25 20 like in my early late 20s I'm only I'm only gonna be in my 20s once in my life and I'm gonna be really upset with myself if I look back on my life then in like 20 or 30 years and think oh my god why didn't I start my health journey sooner why didn't I take this serious why did I wait so long you know what I mean so that's also why I did it because I don't want to look back in 20 or 30 years and be like 
I should have done this sooner. I should have changed my life sooner. Um, I know, especially living in America, I feel like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of what we see, what we eat, um, what we're marketed, a lot of it is quick, easy, fatty, greasy, unhealthy, processed foods and that is something that I wish we could change so badly so that's why I don't eat processed foods for the most part I don't eat fast food for the most part like I said I'll have it probably once every couple months um but that living in America is so hard to beat because I feel like especially everybody is so go 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 here and we have such a fast paced living society that we're currently on the run sorry and currently on the go so we just go for the quick and easy thing and to be honest the quick and easy thing isn't making a healthy salad and eating it or um cooking chicken organic chicken grass-fed beef for your family of five um neither is it the most affordable option you know buying all organic making all these lifestyle changes so it's something that like you really need to budget for it's something that you really need to prepare for and it's something that you need to know like you're going to be doing this for the long haul and it's not just like a fad or anything like that so um that's also just like another point i wanted to make in this video because for me um this is something I plan on doing the rest of my life. Um, I eat pretty much, I would say I eat 95 to 98% organic. And um, if you just go online and like look at differences between organic foods and non-organic foods, honestly, it's not that much expensive. I mean, it is more expensive, but it's not as much expensive as people think it is. And it's crazy, the differences. Like, just type in organic versus non-organic on google and read articles about it because i swear it'll change your mind um but yeah so another thing let's see a year <sighs> a year i'm trying to think um i am going to be inserting sorry my dog i'm going to be inserting photos for you guys so you're able to see like before and after pictures all that kind of stuff because i know a lot of you guys are into that stuff so i will insert pictures throughout the video or maybe i already showed you guys pictures but i do want you guys to see before and after photos that way you're able to really kind of see where i was a year ago and how much progression i've made um i'm extremely extremely proud of myself and how far i've come the past year except i feel like this is just the beginning i feel like i'm just scratching the surface and that to me is probably the most exciting feeling like i feel just so free and happy and i feel like the rest of my life i can't wait to see where this health journey takes me um <clears throat> excuse me um you know i like i said it's a health journey and i'm going to be on it for my entire life and i'm just so excited and so blessed and so thankful that i'm going to be able to see where it takes me the next 100 hopefully years of my, well not 100 i want to live to be 126 but the next 80 years of my life i'm really excited to see where i go and what i do um not only with my health journey but with this platform that god has given me to share my experiences and things with you guys like i said this was just kind of a reflection of like my thoughts and how i'm feeling right now today on my year anniversary i didn't want this video to be super long or super in depth about certain things i just wanted it to be a jumble of ideas and thoughts and raw feelings that i have um to share with you guys i'm always getting questions from you guys um about where i'm at so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching this video like I said, I know it was all over the place because that's just how I feel today. I feel like, oh my God, it's been a year. It's crazy. I can't believe it. Um, but then again, I just, I feel so happy, so happy and so blessed. Um, but yeah, leave me your thoughts and comments down below. Um, of course, I'll respond to you guys. If you want to send me a private DM on Instagram, feel free to. My links and handles are always down in the description bar. Um, don't ever hesitate to reach out to me. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.